Hello everyone, I am Dr. Madhumita and I am going to demonstrate today about a technique of intermaxillary fixation called as the IV eyelet fixation. Now, firstly, before I move on to what is an IV um, eyelet, that is a method of wiring. So this is how a IV eyelet looks like for the purpose of intermaxillary or mandible, maxillomandibular fixation that is securing the upper and the lower jaw together or it is also used for um, reducing fractures to secure the fracture segments also used in orthognathic surgery for the purpose of splints. Now before we go on to how to make this eyelet, I will be demonstrating as to how to stretch a wire first. Now first you take a 36 centimeter wire, you wound it around two needle holders or wire twisters, whatever you have and use your strength and just stretch the wire to 10% of the original length and mind you I say 10% because if you overstretch this wire it leads to a concept called as work hardening that means it makes this wire brittle and when you cut once you place the eyelets so right now I'm just going to cut it into two 15 equal sizes so now we have two equally um, cut pieces of wire about 15 centimeter each and now next what you do is you take a burr or a probe wound the wire equally around the shaft of the burr so we're going to do two loops so i'm going to take it again for the second time again over the first one so this is what I get after my two loops. I've just wound the wire around the burr. Then you secure your needle holder, say about a few millimeters away from the burr and make two and a half turns. This is the IV loop that I've made and it's called IV because um, it was named after a scientist Dr. Robert. This is the insertion of the IV eyelet through the buccal area. Once I have it secure. I should move it right. This is the insertion through the distal edge. I've taken it out through the distal tooth. Now I'm going to wound it around the mesial one. And pull it out. Alright, so you have to make sure that your IV loop is well inserted, completely wound around each of the tooth. Then take the distal part of the wire is going from distal to mesial. It has always been like, it's always like that. Distal to mesial is the direction. Secure both the wires and pull the wires towards you because in the patient's mouth you do not want any kind of injury. And once I have tightened it, I'm just going to cut it off. So you hold the edge, otherwise the other segment will fall off. 
This segment is moved downwards. Straighten it. Again, this is a cast. This piece on the interdental region so that it does not cause injury to the soft tissues in the patient's mouth. So this is your IV eyelet loop. The same thing will be done on the maxilla and then we can secure both the upper and the lower with the help of a tie wire. So this is, say this is the tie wire in the lower. We secure it through, through this IV which is created. So this is our IV eyelet that we have secured in the mandibular arch in between the premolar molar area but you can do it um, as required. So once again a quick re recap, one is that IV eyelet can be used for minimally displaced fractures for orthognathic surgeries to secure the splints and um, for intermaxillary fixation in general in trauma cases. So this is a quick method, a quick method to even make an IV loop, a quick method to insert the IV loop and secure it. It hardly takes five minutes in the patient's mouth to secure one. So um, this is all about IV. Please do follow us for more tutorial videos and we'll keep updating you with the latest.